Okay, yesterday we were talking and Alana <laughs> brought up something called boyfriend air. Alana, and I was personally fascinated by it. Alex knew what it was, but what is boyfriend air? Boyfriend air, I guess, is a phenomenon that explains why every time like you sleep at your boyfriend's house or like sleep with your man, like you wake up like disgusting. With greasy hair, oily skin, smelly, like I felt like I don't wash my hair very often. I wash my hair like literally once a week. And I would feel like in the past, not so much living with a boy now, but going over to a boy's house, every time I would sleep over, I would wake up with greasy hair Mm -hmm. on like day two hair. Okay, I have a question. Are you having sex during this time? Yeah, but like, I think that sex makes people dirty. I think I don't think it's boyfriend here. I think it's sex. But like I would have sex at my part, part, little apartment. Yeah, but you have your own stuff at your apartment to fix it. No, I'm telling you, it's like a sweaty, sleepy, sticky air. No, I'm with you. I'm I agree with you on this. I'm gonna read what this just says about boyfriend. Here. Okay. Oh, wait, you googled it? Yeah, that's what I was doing on my phone. I wasn't oh, just like thing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You know, I wasn't like on it. I was like, well, I felt like we needed because I had never heard. You, you said I knew what it was, and I think I I never heard the term. But immediately when you started describing it, I was like, oh, my God, I've uh-huh. never thought of that. So this is saying boyfriend error is a theory that centers around how being in the presence of a boyfriend or a male partner affects the hygiene and presentability of their female partner. Okay. What? Does it mean you're not like And I feel like if I them? would, like, sleep at my boyfriend's for, like, a day... Two days, two nights, whatever. I would turn into this like monster. Is it because they're dirty? I think like they're just, they let off this like humid air. Like, okay, we once had a, when I used to work for an interior designer, we once had a client who had a, a headboard who on one side, it had a <laughs> grease stain against the headboard. From the man? Because her and her husband would lean against it at night and they would watch TV. Graham washes his hair every day, sometimes twice a day. I wash mine like you. I wash it twice a week Mm -hmm. his hair will inevitably grease be greasier than mine doesn't matter like his hygiene is better they just like grease up more i'm sure it's the same scenario for these two but like he had a grease stain i'll never forget it on this headboard and it's like that's just a guy being a guy Mm -hmm. but you start to when you cohabitate with them you just absorb it you just start like Graham was eating turkey meatballs last night. And I'm like, you smell like the turkey meatballs. But if I ate turkey meatballs, I wouldn't walk around smelling like it. Also, when guys drink, they literally seep the alcohol. You can smell on them. When girls drink, I feel like we never can smell the alcohol on us. Never. I just realized my fucking, my dad's side of the bed is like stained. Ew! Like it's like <laughs> has like a sweat <laughs> permanent sweat stain. Like, is it all men? No. I swear, Mike's pillow is discolored. No, D- Graham's pillow is highly yes. Graham's pillow is to- and Graham is cleaner than I am. N- un- <laughs> undoubtedly, the man is cleaner and more hygienic than I am. And without, it's not his fault. We'll leave more residue. <laughs> they like Maybe men just something have more like sweat sweat glands and like oil glands in females. I think they must like like when I lived with my boyfriend. I never I never felt dirtier, but I felt dirtier if we if we would have sex or if I was sleeping at his place. But when we lived together, it was also my place and I yeah. kept it clean, so I felt fine. So my my apartment, I don't feel dirty in because we also have a, a king size bed. I think that might oh, give yeah. a little mm-hmm. sitch, but. I remember sleeping at Mike's apartment before we lived together, and I would be waking up s- sticky and stinky and greasy. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Now. Yeah. And there's times where if Graham gets really close to me, I'm like, you're heating me up. <laughs> yeah. But I can get close near him, and like, I'm not going to be the source of the heat. It's like him. <laughs> no, that's actually true. Like a radiator. Yes. Not I'm radiate heat. Radiator. What? Radiator? Radi- it's radiate. It's, <laughs> it's radiate. radiator. No, my ex-boyfriend used to be like, you're radiating so much heat. That's why I hated cuddling because I'm like, you're so fucking hot. They're, they they radiate heat and it's like you go to the gym. Who's like dripping in sweat? That not me. <laughs> it's always the guy. Like I can sweat, but guys are dripping in sweat. You guys are going to turn me into a lesbian soon. That sounds so...